Uh. What's up, y'all? We're looking here. I got a new toy. Six string bass. Talk about it. Okay, let's break it. Let's break. Let's break. Yeah. All right. So, I finally bought a six string bass. I finally broke down and got a six string bass. This is my first six string bass. I got a million basses in this house, but this is my first six string bass. And I wasn't going to spend a lot of money on it either. Because it's mainly going to be a practice base, okay? Just to see how I like it. So, I was surfing around online the other day. I went to a website called rondomusic.com. And they're known for their low price guitars and basses. So, <clears throat> surfing around there, looking at the basses, I said, let me check out these six strings. So, I found this one. Didn't cost too much. Not bad, not bad. It's a short scale, too, so it's not as long as some of the other bases. It's a little bit shorter, about four inches shorter than most bases. So let's talk about it. So I have right now it is, is, uh, it's in active mode. It has an active passive switch, a toggle switch. It has a blend knob here to go from the bridge pickup to the neck pickup. And I have it in the middle right now. Then you have one volume. Controls both. Then you have a three-band EQ. Bass, mid, treble. Okay? Just typical bass stuff, right? Nothing fancy. Uh, but it does go from active mode to passive mode. So active mode sounds like that. Passive little thinner okay um, also what I noticed is the um, in passive mode the knobs for the uh, tone the three band EQ they don't work so which is fine I don't care um, but because most of the time I'm probably gonna play in active mode anyway so what else we got here we have the let's turn it around so you can see it you have a base compartment in the back you have six bolts on the neck and the strings you can go through the body with the strings if you wanted to but the way they came is they're right here on the end of the bridge but it looks like you could go all the way through if you wanted to I guess that's what you can do I haven't even tried I didn't even notice that Okay, so just that's your preference. You can go all the way through the body with the strings. Let's see what else. Let me hold on. <coughs> Had to call for a second. Now I'm back. All right. So the comp the brand or company that makes this is called Bryce. I have no idea who Bryce is. Okay, I don't know. B R I C E, Bryce. Okay. All right. Purple is the color I chose. I think they have another color on there. Um, but it sounds pretty good. I haven't done any setup on it. Okay. I haven't changed the strings. I haven't set up the, the string height or intonation yet. I haven't done anything. Basically, this is out of the box. Okay. I just tuned it up and, and went for it. All right. So what else we got here? So, like I said, I got it's in active mode. Pickups are dead center. So let's. There's the bridge pickup. Okay, let's do the uh, neck pickup. I 
Also, the EQ is flat. I don't have anything. Um, anything. The EQ is just straight flat. Nothing going on. All right, let's put it in passive mode. Same, everything else is the same. Just switch to passive mode. Okay, a lot thinner, of course. All right, put it back in active mode. All right, let's see. Treble all the way up. Oh, let me put the uh, I'll put the pickups back in the middle again. Trebles turned all the way up. Okay, let's turn the mids all the way up. playing anything I'm just noodling okay just testing stuff out bass all the way up you can feel that bass though <laughs> So it's not a bad bass for what you pay for, especially as as a six string. It's definitely not not a bad price. Okay, I don't think it's a maybe. It's not a bass you want to use on a gig. It just depends on the gig. I probably won't use it on a gig. I'll probably use it here at the house to practice, and I'll probably use it in a few of my videos for YouTube. Uh, maybe some lessons that I'll give somebody some lessons. But on an actual live gig, eh, maybe not. But that's okay, because I didn't buy it for a live gig. I got plenty of bases for live gigs. Shit. So let me make sure everything's flat again. Everything's good. Oh, I got the volume turned all the way up, too. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to switch the scene here. And I'm going to show you the specs from the website of this bass. I'm gonna show you this bass. Yeah. How's that? So this is a this is the website where I bought it. 30 inch neck, 30 scale, 30 inch scale. I guess this purple color is called Qu uh, Canadian Maple Quilt. Uh, string through bridge is what I showed you right there with the holes right there. You can run the strings all the way through. Active pickups, uh, then it talks about the uh, passive mode, bass treble, and um, balance and volume. I don't see it mentioned the mid. Hmm. Anyway, there's a mid. I think there's a mid knob here, too. Battery compartment, you know, you saw that. Bolt on neck with six bolts, you saw that. 24 frets. So I can go all the way up to the high G here, or... That's a G, but this is a C. Doesn't sound too bad. Definitely need some setup. So let's talk about the strings themselves. So it comes with, these are the strings that it came with. So it's a 29, a 45, a 65, 85, 105, 128. All right, only weighs eight and a half pounds, so it's not heavy. Not heavy. Then it talks about the other specs as far as, like, the, the body thickness and the neck and all that good stuff, okay? That's all the geeky stuff. Who gives a fuck? No, well, I care, too. But, yeah, this um, talks about all the specs. It does feel comfortable. Surprisingly easy to play. Like I said, I haven't really tried to play too much on it yet. You would have to get used to slapping on it, though, because um, the neck spacing is, is, is you know, it's a lot. It's a shorter space between strings. 
So if you're used to slapping a five string or a four string, you have to make a little bit of an adjustment. <laughs> See, that's that high C string. So, for you guys that don't know much about six string basses and how they're strung, it's basically a five string bass with one extra string. So, you have the, all the same five strings that you'd have on a five string bass. You have a B, you have an E, you have an A, you have a D, you have a G, and this extra string at the top is a C. Okay? It's a C, so C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, you know, all the way up, okay? So, that is the way it's strung. A lot of, uh, you know, I guess a lot of guys use six strings to play chords and melodies and all that stuff on basses. But, <coughs> I'm an old school dude, so I don't do all that shit that much. But, I want to pick one up. Because I thought it'd be cool to learn and practice on it and just challenge myself a little bit. So, I wanted to show you guys my new toy. I bought it from Rondo Music. They ain't paying me for this damn video. But maybe they should. Yeah, because I just gave them an endorsement of the Bryce bass. Not bad bass. Not a bad bass. Good practice bass. If you want to learn six string bass and you don't want to spend a thousand bucks or more, you can pick up something like this. And it surprisingly plays well out of the box, even before you do all your setup and change the strings and all that good stuff. And if you want to change electronics, you could probably do that too, but, you know, probably don't need to. It's just going to be a practice bass. So that is the Bryce bass. I am DeLuca. Thanks for watching. Uh... Like the video. Leave some comments. Tell me what you think of this bass. All right. It does sound pretty decent, uh, like I said, but it does need setup. Okay. If you don't know what setup means, setup means adjusting the neck. Make sure it's flat, the, the neck here. Sometimes the necks come and they're bowed, you know, or they're, you know, they're not flat. That's part of the adjustment. Then you adjust the intonation where and the string height, too how high you want the strings from the fretboard. And then the intonation is, you know, uh, just like if you played an octave. You're here at the 12th fret, right? It does have some fret buzz. And so it does need it does need that setup, man. But I'll get to it one day. Right now, I ain't in no hurry. So, like I said, I'm DeLuca. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel, Foolios. And uh, I'll catch up with you next time. Later.